the sunshine for once. Welcome to Bothell. Head out to the woods, photograph some bluebells. First thing you notice, as soon as you get out of the car, smell of wild garlic. So, expecting to see a lot of bluebells and wild garlic once we get up into the into the woods here. See some bluebells up there. Nice light. Some bright light shining through the trees. Wild garlic. Bluebells. Smells unbelievable, the wild garlic. Get down this way, I think. That's a carpet of bluebells. The light's constantly changing on the forest floor here. Every now and then, it just goes dark. And then all of a sudden, the sun breaks through the clouds, the blue bells light up. Landscape photography on YouTube UK set a challenge each month and June's challenge is flowers in the wild. I've come to Bothell Woods where there's a carpet of bluebells and wild garlic. I think I need to come here at some stage without the video camera and not do any vlogging. I think just a macro lens, one lens, pick out some detail, just the light on these flowers is brilliant at some stages. I'll be back.
this thing's a lot bigger than my phone but thought I'd have a go doing some vlogging with my DSLR but I can see it's wobbling like anything because it's a lot heavier and standing with it at arm's length it's difficult to get it steady but we'll see what it looks like here comes the sun again so we'll try and get some photos this time All the bluebells just catching the light. Too much to take in for one shot, I think. It's difficult to get a shot of the woods that does the carpet of bluebells any kind of justice. It's not as easy as you think photographing these um, bluebells in the woods. There's just so many of them. Couple that with um, the, some of the backgrounds looking messy, and we'll see what we got when we get home. Hopefully, it'll make it to the vlog. When the sun goes in, it's time to give the camera a wiggle, do some slightly long exposures, and some intentional camera movement. It usually works well with bluebells in the woods. If you like some of the effects from intentional camera movement, I suggest you check out Andy Gray's um, YouTube channel. I'll stick a link up here somewhere and in the description below, but um, he just takes it to a completely another level. Some of his stuff's amazing. Check him out. I'm trying to say something to the camera for the last 10 minutes and every time I stick this thing up in the air and start speaking to it dog walker turns up how long do you have to be doing this vlogging lock before you don't feel like an idiot stood in public talking to yourself on a stick well I guess we'll just keep on having to hide when people turn up <laughs> just makes the job take even longer Hopefully I've got enough from the blue bells at Bothell Woods. Should make a vlog for the June challenge on landscape photography on YouTube UK. Not sure when this vlog will make it out, if it does. But until then, have fun. See you later. Focus on us here. Ah. You watch all these YouTube videos and everyone's just walking along, talking to the camera, watching what's going on. 
I should have known better from when I did it on the rocks the other day. <clears throat> so I'm just nearly landed on my ass again. Walking along, slightly wet patch, slip. Went nearly arse out it. <laughs> Thank you.